punk movement had a big influence on me in the fact that suddenly you realised that anybody could become famous. They were very artistic with their appearance and then of course we got the old bin liner bags coming out and it all went down the toilet. And if you thought that was extreme... I knew from an early age that my idea of what was attractive was threatening to other people. I liked Catwoman, hated Batman and Robin. I liked the more sinister elements combined with a certain degree of femininity. <laughs> Back in 1984, Pete Burns was already experimenting with gender confusion, but it was merely a dress rehearsal for the exotic creature he has now become. I look so shocking to some people, they don't even think they've seen me. It's why I'm not written about fashion magazines. They, they couldn't, I'm the best kept secret, they couldn't bear to mention my name as some creative force. They just absolutely couldn't bear it. I think females pillage male imagery. I think Natalie Imbruglia looks like a man. And it's a whole process like making a picture every day. So every day, at the very least, at least I've created something. If it's not a song or if it's not a video, at least every day I create myself. And I think that's quite healthy. It stops me having destructive tendencies. Not subversive, being Dharma International, it's actually quite subversive of being on Richard and Judy and Richard drooling all over a cleavage. Yeah.